Hmm. Frostbite Falls, Minnesota. Once the beloved home of Rocky and Bullwinkle had been a thriving cartoon town. Now it was crippled by years of reruns. The beautiful Frostbite Falls Forest. Decimated. The once majestic falls above Veronica Lake. Devastated. While the narrator, that's me, down on his luck and out of a job, was forced to move in with his mother, where he was reduced to narrating the events of his own life. With a speed and dexterity astonishing in a woman of her advancing years, Mother bastes the chicken, tosses the salad, and mashes the potatoes! Oh, Sonny Shadow! Ow! And in a little house at the top of the stump forest, Rocky and Bullwinkle themselves were forced to subsist on ever-diminishing residual checks from reruns of their old show. World-famous television stars whose adventures once took them all over the globe. Now their exploits were just a memory. Yes, it was a melancholy time indeed. Rocky the Flying Squirrel hadn't flown in years. What's the point? I guess the world just doesn't need us anymore, Bullwinkle. <laughs> Say, where are you going? All this exposition is wearing me out. I'm going for a walk in the woods. But, Bullwinkle, there aren't any woods anymore. Well, you don't have to tell me. I'm the chairman of the Frostbite Fall Society for Wildlife Conversation. You mean wildlife conservation. What did I say? You said wildlife conversation. Well, somebody's got to start talking about these things. Yes, even their wordplay had become hackneyed and cheap. No, it was always like this. 